Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, combining like terms. So we're gonna use um, uh, a bar model to uh, combine some like terms. So here's our uh, common core strand and our question here is how can we use this strategy, use a model to combine like terms? And this is uh, lesson 7-7 seven, seven, and don't forget all your groovy lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. All right, you guys, so uh, like terms are terms that have the same variables uh, that end with the same exponents. And numbers, you guys, numbers are also like terms. So for example, terms are separated by pluses and minus signs. So this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term. So there's three terms there, 5x, 3y, and 2x. And then the like terms are the ones that have the x's, the 5x and the 2x, okay? All right, all of these have z's, you guys, so 8z squared, 4z, and 12z squared. So like terms are, they have the same variables, but right here they have to have the same exponents. So there's three terms here because they're separated by those plus signs right there. So 8z squared, 4z, and 12z squared, and then the like terms are the z squared ones, okay? And then here... Uh, here, this one has an X. These ones don't have X's. There's three terms, one term, two terms, three terms. The terms are separated by either a minus sign or a plus sign. So 15, 3X, and 5 are the terms. And then the like terms are the 15 and the 5. Okay, easy enough. All right. So um, here's a problem here. So shirts cost $9 and logos, uh, logo patches cost $4. And shipping is $8 for the order. So the expression 9n plus 4n plus 8, so this is the $8 for the shipping charges, and this is the $9 for the shirts, and this is the uh, $4 for each logo. It gives the cost in dollars of buying shirts with logos for n amount of people. So, so um, simplify the expression 9n plus 4n by combining the like terms. Okay, so, so let's answer some questions here. So... Well, what do we need to find? We need to find, uh, we need to simplify this expression right here, 9n plus 4n plus 8 right there, okay? So what information are we going to use? Well, we need to use uh, uh, the like terms, 9n, and then the 4n are like terms. And so how will we use that info? Well, we're going to use a bar model here to show, uh, to find the sum of these like terms right there, okay? So we're going to go ahead and um, uh, draw a bar model uh, to add the 9n and the 4n. And each square here is going to represent uh, n or 1n. Remember, 1n is the same as n. So here's 9n for the, uh, the $9 shirts right there. And then here's 4n right here for the $4 logos right there. So if we combine all those like terms and uh, 9n plus 4n, we just add all these squares up. How many squares are there? There's nine squares here with n in them, and there's um, uh, four more squares with n in them, so that gives us a total of 13 squares, or 13n. Okay, so so 9n plus 4n plus 8 equals 13n plus 8. Okay, so a simplified expression for the cost in dollars for n people would be 13n plus 8. That's easy, right? Okay, yes, there's an easier way. I'll show you in just a second. So explain how the bar model shows that our answer is correct. Okay, well, nine squares uh, modeled 9n and four squares modeled 4n. So altogether, there were 13 squares, and 13 squares makes us um, uh, 13n because each square was n. Here's another one here, you guys. Pies normally cost $5 each, but they are on sale for a dollar off. So a, uh, a delivery of all the pies cost $12. So the expression of 5p, which is uh, $5 for each pie, minus uh, uh, 1p, which is uh, p uh, for the dollar off, and then plus the delivery charge of $12 uh, can be used to find the cost in dollars of buying p pies on sale. Uh, plus the delivery. Okay, so simplify the expression 5p minus uh, p plus 12 by combining like terms. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw another bar model here. So what do we need to find? We need to simplify the expression 5p minus p plus 12. What information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use um, uh, the like terms 5p and p. So how will we use this? Well, we can use the bar model again to find the difference of like terms. So let's draw a bar model that, uh, to subtract 5p and p. And so here each square would represent p. 
Um, and then so here's 5p right here, okay? And then so let's, uh, here's 1p right there. And then so if we take this off, if we take this p off of here right here, how many p's are we left with? Well, we're left with four of them right there, or 4p. So the bar model shows 5p minus p is 4p. So 5p minus p plus 12 is going to be 4p plus 12 because this simplifies to 4p. 5p minus 1p gives us these 4p's right here. And since 12 doesn't have a p, then those aren't like terms. So a simplified expression for the cost in dollars of p pies with the delivery is going to be 4p uh, plus 12 right there. All right, almost done. So explain how the bar model shows that our answer is correct. Okay, so five squares modeled the 5p, and then the one square, so here's our 5p right here, and this one square models the 1p, and so when we take off this one square from the five squares, we're left with the four squares, uh, which represented the 4p, 1p, 2p, 3p, 4p, okay? So explain how we can combine like terms without using a model. Okay, well, this is uh, the easy part right here, which is going to lead us into the next uh, lessons, I'm sure. So we just add or subtract uh, the coefficients up here. So then we use the sum or difference of the coefficients. Uh, of the variables in the simplified expression. And you're thinking, what What does that mean? Well, here, you guys, the coefficients were 5 and 1. So we just subtracted 5 minus 1. Okay, and that told us how many p's there were. So there were 4 p's or 4 pies. Okay, and then don't forget we had a delivery charge of 12 bucks. That's an expensive delivery charge. Okay, in the previous example, we added 9n plus 4n. So we just add these coefficients. The coefficients are the numbers that are in front of your variable. So 9 plus 4 gives us the 13n right there. Okay. Well, remember, the like terms are terms that have the same variables, uh, that have the same exponents. And numbers are also like terms. All right, you guys. Hope that makes sense. And take care.